So far, we've looked at how to interpret the data you get from a randomized experiment. But how do we get this data in the first place? Well, we have to actually design and run our experiment. And in doing this, there are many, many difficult problems that come up. Like, you have to figure out how many people are you going to uh, do the experiment on? What's your sample size? How are you going to write the surveys or collect your data in the first place? Um, when are you going to collect the data? How often are you going to collect data? How long are you going to wait to collect your data? Okay, and then how are you actually going to implement it? Who are you going to partner with? And how are you going to field your surveys, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So there's an enormous amount of issues that I'm basically sweeping them under the rug and assuming they've all been solved and that we've got the data set there, just waiting to be analyzed, okay? All, now, all of these design issues are very, very important. And in fact, they will affect sometimes how you do the analysis because, for example, you pick the sample size. You have to pick the outcome variables you measure. Okay, you have to pick the treat kind of treatments you're going to be administering. And all of that's going to affect the interpretation. But for these modules, I'm just going to focus on the case where we have the data already and we want to just interpret it, okay? Like when you're reading somebody else's research. And for the very difficult problem of how to go out and do your own experiment, that I'm just going to skip.